In today's video, we're taking a look at Optimizer, which recently saw its 1.2.1 release with a few new features. Optimizer is inspired by Stacer, which is written in Qt. Stacer is a fairly popular system optimizer and cleaner utility, as well as a resource monitor. Optimizer here is inspired by it and aims to provide similar functionality, but it is written in GTK and designed for the elementary desktop. When you first launch Optimizer, you'll see the dashboard view, which gives you a nice quick overview of your resource usage, which is very cool. The disk uh, wheel on the right here by default will show your root partition, but you can change the monitored partition to any other partition that you choose. And you can also see network usage as well as some basic system information. Newly added in 1.2.1 is the uh, light and dark mode toggle. By default, it's in light mode. You can also have a dark mode. One issue with the dark mode, though, if we go over to the cleaner view real quick, you can't really see the checkboxes that well. So I am going to put it back to light view for the rest of this video, but you do have the option between light and dark. I'm going to get into the cleaner view in a bit more detail in a moment. First, I want to mention there is also a processes view, which is a fairly simple list view, but you do get information of the process ID, total memory, percentage of your total memory used, uh, CPU usage, and of course what the process actually is. So this works very well for seeing like what's using up a ton of memory or CPU usage, for example which in my case at the moment is obviously OBS because that's how I'm recording this. Ah. Anyway, let's go back to the cleaner view. If you have a lot of files that need to be deleted, it can take some time for this view to actually uh, populate properly, which I tested prior to this recording, and I had about... 14 gigabytes worth of files to delete. It did take some time for it to actually give me this preview. It was a lot faster this time since there's only 62 megabytes. And from what I can tell based on that previous test and right here, what you see up here is only going to be if there's actually files that fall under one of these five categories. So in my case, I don't have any package caches, crash reports, application logs, or trash to clear out. I just have application caches to clear out. When I tried it before, I didn't have any crash reports to clear out, just the other stuff. As for actually clearing stuff out, you just select what you want to clean, click clean up, and it will tell you exactly what it's cleaning out. So you can expand it by clicking the little drop down arrow and you can scroll through and see everything that's being deleted if you want to double check what's going. You click continue, finish cleaning up with no errors. If you are deleting things like the package caches and I believe also the application logs, since those are located in slash var under the root directory that's outside of your home directory, it will also ask for your root password. And that about covers it for Optimizer. It's a very nice system optimizing tool. If you're on elementary OS and you'd like to try Optimizer for yourself, you can get it on App Center for a suggested price of $5. If you'd like to try Optimizer for yourself, you can f If you're on elementary and you'd like to try and